I'm Chef Jasper, and today we're in the kitchen preparing a very traditional dinner. That's right, we're preparing meatloaf. Not just an ordinary meatloaf, we're talking about Molly's meatloaf. Molly Ball, Sydney Ball's wife, of course, the pioneer in the grocery business here in the Kansas City area. But more than that, Molly Ball herself was something I'm telling you right now. She came out and became so creative with her meals, her take home meals, really a pioneer in the industry of take home food. So let's get started with this delicious and easy meatloaf. Of course, just like my mama and our family, we start off with three types of meat. We have ground beef, we have ground pork and ground veal. Actually, in the grocery stores, that used to be called a meatloaf mix. Along with that, we have some breadcrumbs, and we have an egg that we're going to put a little bit inside of our milk. But then, with our breadcrumb mixture, we're going to mix all of our uh, seasonings and flour together. So, breadcrumbs and flour, a little bit of paprika, a little bit of black pepper, Fresh sage, oh my, it just gives it that extra flavor, of course. Dry mustard, I like cooking with dry mustard. And some salt, that's just the beginning. We'll mix this all together, and then I'm gonna chop an onion up, and we'll add that to the mixture. So it's up to you how much, how big you want to, uh, to chop your onion. I like bite-sized pieces, actually. I don't wanna mince it too much. But, you know, some people like that. Also, when my mom would make her meatloaf, we would actually put uh, whole eggs in the meatloaf. So, you know, I gave you, again, a basic, uh, you know, for the recipe. And then Molly's added all these delicious extra uh, seasonings and everything. And, oh, what a difference that really makes. Again, we're going to finish this with some bacon. And then you could take it to a whole nother level and add maybe a little bit of ketchup. Add some barbecue sauce. You know what? Whatever you want to do, because Molly's meatloaf was very, very popular back in the day, especially right after World War I had begun. And mothers and, uh, and daughters, of course, then wives, you know, they, uh, they're working at the defense plant. So what were they doing? They were struggling to find time to actually prepare dinner for their family. What did Molly Ball do? No problem at all. We'll just make take-home dinners. That's right. How about that? Take-home dinners. Who would have thought back during World War I that you had take-home dinners? Well, they did, and Molly's meatloaf became very, very popular. All right. We're going to add our onion, and we will add next our meat and, you know, mix this all up. And, you know, I don't know. It's up to you, but I just love a cold meatloaf sandwich. So after this is cooked, oh my, come on. A little meatloaf and a little ketchup on some white bread. That's just old school, old fashioned dinner. Even as a snack, even as a cold lunch the next day, come on. Mix this all up as much as you can. And then at this point, we're gonna add our wet ingredients. Now, when we come to this, you know, we add the egg and the milk. I like to add it, you know, a little bit at a time. So mix that egg and milk together and kind of go around the edges with those breadcrumbs. And eh, that's about enough for now. And then we'll come back. And oh, this becomes so moist. And when it's in the oven, you could just smell it. Just like when Molly Ball was in the grocery store and people would pass by. And that, oh, can you imagine that? smell wafting in the air of that meatloaf cooking, I'm sure they were just lined up to enjoy this delicious dish that everybody wanted. And it's become very, very popular and a hen house recipe, especially for the 100 year celebration. Can you imagine 100 years in the grocery business in Kansas City? That's something else by Molly and Sydney Ball. All right, we're going to finish this up and mix it. It looks like a little too much uh, liquid. It's not because once you mix it all together, believe me, it has become so moist and ready. Oh, my. We'll finish this up. Now, what do you want to add? 
Uh, nothing really. I mean, I love that sage flavor here. You want a little parsley in there? That's okay. I'm going with the original recipe. But let me tell you something. Using the veal and the hamburger and the pork, it gives it such great flavor. The pork almost becomes like a little sweeter flavor. The veal, oh my, you know, back during the war, veal was just like people had veal. It's like they had hamburger. It was not a big deal to have veal. But that little extra special treat there makes all the difference. All right. I think we're pretty well mixed up here. Now, here comes another part, which this is up to you. I love these uh, old-fashioned meatloaf pans, right? We'll put the meatloaf in there and shape it. But I'm still old school, so I'm doing a little food release in here. Just a little bit, not much. And, of course, we will add our meatloaf in here and shape it. Now, you don't have to do it in a loaf pan. Of course, you could just turn it into a loaf and put it on a little bit of foil and go from there. I mean, seriously, you're going to shape it, so it's up to you. Put this all here together. And I kind of mold it around here a little bit and then smooth the top off a little bit. Now, are you uh, a crusty uh, edge and like the ends, or do you like the real, real soft, moist middle? That's up to you. Same thing with lasagna. You know, I always ask people that if they like the ends or if they like the middle. But what a difference this meatloaf is going to make for your family and friends. Sunday dinner or a cold sandwich the next day. Oh, my. Now, optional, but top it with some bacon and all oh, that juice and a little bit of the grease from the bacon fat going down in the middle there into that meatloaf. Preheat that oven to 350 degrees, about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours, and you'll have a delicious meatloaf that everyone in the family is going to enjoy. Ah, I present to you Molly's Meatloaf. The take-home meatloaf became so famous throughout the neighborhood and now you can prepare it yourself. The recipe is easy, it's so delicious, and don't forget, Molly, she was the take-home lady. That's right, the pioneer of take-home meals before anybody even thought about it. Now you have your own meal that you can prepare. Everyone in the family will love. I know my family does, and I'm so proud to serve it to them. Thank you, Molly. Brought to you by Hen House Markets.